everyone, welcome to episode number 25 of Instagram Talk. Before we get started, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and turn on the bell. Turn on the bell to get notified about my latest videos. Alright, let's get started here. The Miz has turned 38 today. Happy birthday. Here's a preview of the first Raw after Super Showdown in Chicago. What's next for the Brothers of Destruction? Triple H showed his respect for his defeated opponent after the belt. Both the Dead Man and the Big Red Machine flash out at the game and HBK in a horrific display. What will be the fall from this heinous assault? Ronald Zee prepares to defend her title at WWE's first all-women's pay-per-view event. WWE Evolution. Who will step up to the baddest woman on the planet? In the aftermath of the six-man tag team victory, the Shield are more formidable than ever. What's next for Ambrose? Air Continental Champion Seth Rollins and Universal Champion Roman Reigns. Given Lashley's successful tag team pairing with the 16 time world champion, Field Rush has plenty to boast about as Raw ventures from Down Under to Chicago. Will Lashley and Rush still have Owens and Lashley to deal with? Or will, or will Lashley encounter a new foes in the Windy City? Find out, tomorrow, find out tonight, 8 7 Central Live on the USA Network. Alright, here was the real attendance from. For Super Showdown, the crowd attendance for WWE Super Showdown is reported to be around 62,000 fans, according to Wrestling and Silver Radio. As you may be aware, WWE claims to have 70,000, 70, but they normally bump up the numbers a little for big events such as the Super Showdown. Rhino turned 43 yesterday. Happy birthday. Okay, Sean Marks recently revealed that he was originally contacted by WWE officials about coming out of retirement to face the Undertaker at WrestleMania 30, but ultimately rejected the offer. Brock Lesnar then went on to fight the Dead Man on April 6, 2014, and ended his undefeated streak. Caitlin turned 32 two days ago. Happy birthday. All right, Crown Jewel was moved to a smaller venue. In a recent press release, WWE announced that Crown Jewel will now be taking place at the 25,000 seat. King Saul University Stadium instead of the larger King Fod International Stadium, which has a capacity of over 68,000. The event will stream live on WWE Network and be on pay per view outside of the Middle East. Kane Angus turned 31 two days ago. Happy birthday. All right. TMC Sports recently asked Jerry Lawler about attending the rally for President Donald Trump. According to Lawler, he received hate mail for attending the event. Jerry stated, Well, it's funny. Donald Trump was, was in right near Memphis, our hometown. And we were asked by some people to go to the rally, and I went and I unbelievably received some social media, some actual hate mail, just for going to the rally of Donald Trump. All right, as you may be aware, the WWE UK Champion Pete Dunne was pulled from weekend indie events due to an injury. According to F F Four W Online, Pete it, Pete is dealing with a minor foot injury. It is not expected to miss next week's WWE NXT, NXT UK tape, TV tapings in Plymouth, England. Fandango is halfway back to being back in the ring again. Yes, Trish will be making an appearance tonight on Raw. Alright, Cody Rose to Lee Street dropping huge hand at Puff will WWE return. Uh. Alright, Barry responded to one of Ivory Street saying, Ivory, rest, wrestle. Who would like to see these two go one on one at Evolution? Oh, wait, Big Show's return. Big Show will return to action this Tuesday when he goes one on one with Randy Orton. The winner will qualify for the WWE World Cup tournament. Also, Jeff Hardy states the Samoa Joe for the chance to qualify. All right, I guess that. Will be all here for Instagram talk. But wait, before we go, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and ring the bell to get notified about our latest video. Alright, I'll see you guys next time.